This month we have some New Jersey supermarket news and tips that will benefit everyone. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another New Jersey supermarket news vlog. We're trying to do this uh, once a month. Um, but you know, it's really not easy to do like a, a unique New Jersey supermarket chat every single solitary month because um, there's really not much uh, to talk about. Once you get the, the, the proper routine down, um, the sales that happen uh, each week, uh, they're very cyclical. You know, there's a different bacon on sale uh, each week. Um, and, but 90% of the things that are sold at the supermarket, as well as 90% of the things on sale each week are literally unhealthy, uh, junk. Um, so it, it's weird the way that the people that have been conditioned to eating food, uh, even to you know modern times like 2019, it, it's just uh, they've been conditioned to eat addictive foods. Uh, it's just not a good thing. And um, you know, as you know, anything with sugar and carbs in it is uh, it should be avoided, and that includes fruits and vegetables. Sorry, vegetarians, but so. I have basically three little tips for you this month. Um, my first tip, and it's very simple, I've mentioned it many times before on my supermarket uh, updates, you should never really pay full price for anything at all, no matter what. Uh, there's a, always buy the product that's on sale, whether it's bacon, meat, um, and of course, you know, if you're buying junk, you should you should buy your junk on sale too. Never buy Doritos or something like that at full price. But I don't think um, you should be buying that junk. But <laughs> like, and if there's like a sale, so a lot of times when we have uh, Shoprite has these super sales for a buck ninety nine a pound for ground beef, we buy a lot of it, and we know we're not going to be able to eat it. Uh, before it goes bad, so we either free, uh, we freeze the uncooked meat or we actually cook it and freeze the cooked meat. That's uh, also good. I just did that today. As a matter of fact, I I cooked up about five pounds of ground beef, browned it on the stove, and I I threw it in the freezer into portions so I could make a quick chili or a vegetable um, a cheese bake. I like to call it. It's like sort of like a uh, a calzone without the bread. Uh, so. Just never pay full price. You, 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 sh you should feel bad and guilty inside if you ever pay full price for anything. Um, next, I think everybody should do this. Anybody who's on the healthy uh, path, uh, low carb, keto, or carnivore, just watch other people. And it doesn't matter whether they're, they're massively obese, you could see what they're eating. And it's, gr it's really hilarious when I see the really obese people. And, Maybe this doesn't include the obese people that are just starting out and trying to get healthy, but you could tell that they're never going to not be obese because their carts are filled with things that are like, you know, gluten free and, and organic. And, and they're, I can just tell that their blood sugar is way too high. But watch, watch their shopping carts. You, you get a really unique um, insight to what other people are doing and why they're the way they are. And again, like I said, it's not just uh, skinny people. Some skinny people can be uh, unhealthy inside and we don't know what the rest of their family looks like either. So just, it's a fun game to do. I always look at other people's shopping carts and I, it's just, it's fascinating. It's, a, it's almost an invasion of privacy, like I said. And lastly, my final tip for this month is, especially with, it goes back to tip number one. Don't be so hell bent on one particular product brand. Um, like I'll use bacon as an example again. Um, I, I love, I've become more willing to try every single brand that's on sale, even the ShopRite brand. Uh, Cause I don't want to pay $9 or more a pound for bacon. So be ready to say, okay, I'll either have the Oscar Mayer, the Hormel or the black, um, what's the other brand, the Smithfield. I don't care what brand it is. Um, I, I just buy on sale, so, so have alternatives. And this, you run into problems uh, later on if you're if so particular and, and unwilling and, and to go out and try other brands. I, there's some people in my house that, uh, that only want one kind. They, don't, they can't just appreciate the, the subtle differences between their favorite and their not so favorite. 
uh, you get used to it. Um, you get used to it. You just relax your standards a little bit and uh, you'll be fine. But again, meat, I, I'm, I know I don't like ShopRite brand, Wegmans brand. I, I, the meat I cooked up today was Wegmans brand. It wasn't very good, but it fills a purpose. Um, it fills a need. And when Pat Lafrida or Sweden Sons goes on sale, I'll treat myself for that as well. But uh, otherwise, you're going to be financially punished if you're always paying full price for your premium brand, their single brand that you like. So that's it. I'll try and find some things in the uh, next month or so that I could talk about that are unique to New Jersey supermarkets or. It's, but the sales, they're never groundbreaking. You're never gonna save enough money to put an addition on your house. It's only a few pennies here and there. Um, but if you just follow the good advice we gave about buying only things on sale, you'll always be okay. You don't even need to read the circulars. You just, you'll just know. And that's it. I'll see you next month with another New Jersey supermarket chat. Have a good week ahead.